Prince Harry has visited a shanty town in Rio as he continues his trip to Brazil. The prince, who's promoting British business and tourism, also took part in a run raising money for the charity Sport Relief and showed off his rugby and beach volleyball skills. Our role correspondent Peter Hunt reports from Rio. The prince, who grew up in a palace, here surrounded by soldiers in one of Rio's notorious slums. The area was once the stronghold of drug traffickers. In a country where there's a yawning gap between rich and poor, Harry was visiting a British-funded project. Three, two, one! Once, royals would have just stood and watched. Running a sport relief mile in the baking Brazilian heat would have been seen as undignified. But Prince Harry is part of the future of an evolving institution. Is he holding a fan? No, it's a jogging joker prince with a William face mask. Briefly, the spare is the heir. In a morning devoted to promoting sport, Harry got to indulge one of his passions. Even though rugby's a new sport here, they know this isn't in the rule book. And they're learning it's a physical game. The Brazilians were on firmer sand with beach volleyball. Harry wasn't and at first it showed. But beneath an unforgiving sun, the honorary Brazilian prince got to grips with a sport that will be played on London's Horse Guards Parade in four months' time. Harry says this is his kind of game. It's a glamorous one. It's one of the most popular team sports in the world. Time out for an exhausted, hands-on prince celebrating London and then Rio's Olympics. Peter Hunt, BBC News, Rio de Janeiro. Prince Harry has once again shown his sporty side on his tour ahead of the Queen's Jubilee. After taking on Usain Bolt in Jamaica, he's in Brazil now. He tried out another Olympic discipline, beach volleyball. Sky's Royal Correspondent Paul Harrison is with the Prince and his tour and sent this report from Rio de Janeiro. Three, two, one. The final stretch of his first solo tour. And Prince Harry's not even close to slackening off the pace. Taking part in Rio's sport relief fun run, the royal practical joker had enough puff to poke fun at his brother. It's been a theme throughout his 10-day tour. And he spent most of it rewriting the Royal Tour rulebook. He's not bad at bending one or two rules either during the beach rugby. And competitive Harry was always going to cross the try line on Flamengo Beach. Not satisfied with the oval ball, the volleyball was next to challenge the third in line's hand-to-eye coordination. There's definitely room for improvement. This is Prince Harry in his element, proving time and again he just loves to get involved. But the next time he sees a beach volleyball court like this, it will be on Horse Guards Parade and the London 2012 Olympics. And then he'll be consigned to the sidelines. Prince Harry is worth uh, a thousand politicians, as you can see. He has extraordinary celebrity pulling power. He's self-effacing, um, he's interested, uh, he really engages with people, he joins in um, great qualities. And the but it was the heat that made Harry call time out. His thirst for Brazilian beach life thoroughly quenched. Let's get more with Paul now live in Rio and uh, lots of fun, lots of uh, sun, sea and beach. But there's another side he's seeing to Rio and Brazil uh, this afternoon. There have been different sides to every stage of this tour and today started with the more fun side, as you say, but now he's visiting uh, an underprivileged area of Rio uh, in one of the favelas. Uh, he's a little late, uh, but, you know, I think it's generally all going down very, very well here in Brazil. This morning, uh, you saw the crowds turning out to see him. Uh, there were lots of people there last night, of course, on Sugarloaf Mountain to see 
Prince Harry flying the flag for Britain um, and pretty much everywhere he's been throughout this tour, not just here in Brazil, but also the Diamond Jubilee section of the tour on behalf of the Queen uh, in Belize, the Bahamas and Jamaica. Um, everywhere he's been, he's had the warmest of welcomes. And I think really you're seeing Prince Harry stealing back a little bit of the limelight from Prince William and you get the sense he's rather enjoying it. Paul, thanks very much indeed.